Hi, Ed A. Kirst here. We're going to learn in this video how to embed videos on your website and have them hosted at Google Drive. You can use all kinds of places to host your videos, such as YouTube. Now, YouTube has the advantage of being free, but the disadvantage of when the video is over, YouTube suggests other videos, or if you pause it, other videos can pop up, and people have too much of an opportunity to leave your website. You can also use things like uh, Amazon Web Services, AWS, which is great. It's extremely inexpensive, but it's a little bit techy, so it's not for everybody, and it has some glitches. One of the big ones is your videos can go back to private, uh, just willy-nilly, kind of. Um, I've woken up many times in the morning, and nobody can watch the videos in their membership site. They're complaining I have to go change the settings. And then there are places like Vimeo that work very good. They're very fast. Um, they look good and professional, but they are expensive, or can be. So Google Drive is free, I think up to 50 gigabytes. It's got a lot of storage at no cost. And then it's very expensive beyond that. And it's easy to use and you don't have to be too much of a tech wizard. So let me share my screen here. And I'm gonna go into my Google Drive account and we're gonna pick a video. So here's how you do this, okay? I'm gonna walk you right through this whole process. Just open a video in Google Drive, uh, you know, double click the file. Let me pause this so that, okay. so. I'm in Google Drive and where I am now, I'm gonna to go to these three dots at the top and click it and go down to where it says open a new window. Now I'm on a Mac using a Chrome browser and you'll probably see something similar to this, but some browsers or if you're on a tablet or different things, you may have a little bit different menu, but you're looking for the option that says open in new window. And it'll have this icon here with a square uh, and the little arrow pointing to the upper right hand corner, wherever you see that, whether it's just the icon or it's a menu in the three dots in here, go to open in new window. This may auto play. Let me wait a second and see if that does and I can pause it. No, excellent. So you have to do that open a new window or you won't get the option doing bad. And once you open it in a new window, now you click the three dots and you're going to click the one that says embed item. And you'll get a code in a box. Just highlight it and then you're gonna to wanna to copy it. So you can right click and hit copy or command C, however you do that, you wanna copy that code. And then you wanna to go to wherever you're building your website. Now in this example, I'm gonna use Genius Pages, which is our own software. I'm a partner in the development company in, in this particular project. And so I'm gonna show you how to do it in here. It may be a little bit different where you go in your uh, funnel or web builder, web creation software, but it'll be very similar. You wanna to go to where you put your, your code in. So let me get, this is an empty site. Let me just add something here. Let me go down and find, here, this'll look good, okay? Let's add that over there. And what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna add a video, okay? I mean, a, a code. Well, I'm gonna add the video manually. In Genius Pages, you go to Embeds and then you slide this code uh, section over and it'll say embed your code here. You'll have something similar to that. So if you're not sure, go to your, put in the support ticket or go to your training videos for whatever web builder you're using and just find out where to put code in. So let me do that. I'm gonna get rid of this picture. We don't need that on there. And then I'll show you how to do this. So go to wherever you put your code in and then paste the code that you just copied from Google Drive. Now, the default here is a width of 640 and a height of 480. That might be okay. Um, my videos I do in a widescreen, so I wanna change this. Actually, let me show you this first. You'll see what it looks like. Let me save this. See, it's kind of square. My, it's crunched the video a little bit. So you wanna find out what the sizes of your video is because you can make it match. So let's go preview this, okay? So here's what we're looking at, right? That's what we've got. Uh, I can hit play, the video will play, it's great. Now, a couple of problems. One, I need to change the size, and two, the full screen feature down here that people are used to hitting, it says full screen is unavailable. So let's go fix those two problems. So we're gonna go back into the web builder, and we're gonna go back into where, oops, where that code is, and we wanna change two things. So width equals 640, that's 640 pixels. I'm gonna change that to 960. And I'm gonna change the height, we're gonna go 540. That'll give me the little bit more of a widescreen look that like a YouTube video has. Then where we, 
where we go to add this so that people can hit that full screen button is after the height, the height will have the height pixels in uh, quotes. So after that second quote, before the next bracket, I put space and then I put allow full screen, all lowercase, all one word, all run together, A-L-L-O-W-F-U-L-L-S-C-R-E-E-N equals quote, allow full screen quote. That's it. Then I save it. Now you can see it's already wider. Let's save the website and then we'll go preview it. And I'll show you what happens and that's it. Wait till that finishes saving. Now we'll go up here and we'll preview the site. And you can see now the, the, the video is the proper size. It's, it's nice and wide and we can hit play and we can also go down here to the full screen option. I don't know if this is gonna actually show full screen because I'm only in this browser, but there we are. I'm on my computer, it's full screen. I'll escape that in case it doesn't show on the video and we're good to go. So that's it. That is how you embed a video on your website using Google Drive to host the videos. I hope this has been beneficial. Reach out to me if you have any questions or you need any help with anything. And if you're looking for a good website builder and funnel builder, ours is still in beta, so the price is very reasonable. I'll even give you a, a starter account for free. It'll only host one site or one, one funnel, but you can try it out. You can always upgrade to a larger account at your convenience. So reach out to me if you'd like to do that. But hopefully this has been a good training for you. Thanks a lot. Take care. Let me uh, pop out of my screen. I can wait. See you later. Thank you.